A little over two months ago, Intel said, nope, no more overclocking our non-K Intel Skylink CPUs. What a letdown, right? Especially for those of us who purchased any of these CPUs right here. Intel has fixed this issue via a microcode update that has now been included in every BIOS of every motherboard that you could possibly purchase on sites like Newegg and Amazon. What this means is that if you went out and purchased a Z170 motherboard today, you would likely have a motherboard that included a BIOS that featured this Intel microcode update. But what if we were able to downgrade our BIOS to the older Skylake overclockable version? There are plenty of sites online that feature these old BIOS updates. They haven't been removed since they've been posted. So I'm wondering, can I actually downgrade my motherboard's BIOS to one that allows for base clock overclocking and be able to do just that? I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm going to use the Pentium G4400 as my guinea pig. Stay tuned. The first thing I had to do was hop online and find the old BIOS update that corresponded to my particular motherboard. I found it in the first website I clicked and I went ahead and gave it a download. When the download was finished, I plugged in my USB thumb drive and then simply extracted the BIOS update into its folder. It should be as simple as that. I then restarted my computer and prompted it into its BIOS via the delete button. From the home screen, I clicked F8, which stands for Q Flash, and then I found my BIOS update inside of my thumb drive's folder. Everything installed correctly and I was prompted back into my home screen. Everything looked pretty good up to this point. Now what I had to do was restart my computer again and this time go into my newly downgraded BIOS to see if I could actually base clock overclock. And the answer was yes, I could. Within the CPU frequency controller tab, I was very easily able to change my base clock frequency from 100 to basically whatever I wanted. I changed it to where my actual CPU frequency was just above 4 GHz. Keep in mind that raising the base clock frequency will also raise your memory frequency, so I don't recommend turning on XMP Profile, especially if you have RAM that's considerably fast, around 3000 MHz or higher. I also decided to manually raise my voltage as well from its standard 1.08 volts, which I think would be undervolting our CPU at a 4 GHz frequency, to 1.2, which I, I think is a safe value for now. I restarted the computer after saving my settings within the BIOS, and boom, the overclock stuck. I confirmed it via hardware monitor and the BIOS itself after another simple restart. While my Geekbench scores were not considerably higher, my Cinebench score definitely was, which I think would contribute to a few extra FPS in almost any game that you decide to play, all other things equal. So what does this mean? Well, if you decide to purchase a Z170 motherboard right now and a non-K Intel Skylake CPU, you can still actually base clock overclock as long as you're okay with downgrading a BIOS. If you're comfortable with that, things are looking pretty good. Things could go south, however, if Intel decides to push this micro update via a Windows 10 update. You would almost assuredly experience a blue screen of death if you were base clock overclocking a non-K CPU with that microcode embedded into Windows 10. So to prevent this, I recommend Googling how to disable Windows 10 automatic updates and also being familiar with how to uninstall security updates that Windows 10 may have already installed in your system in the background. For now, I do recommend still purchasing non-K CPUs with the intent of overclocking them. It looks fairly safe as long as you are comfortable with downgrading any BIOS for any motherboard that you might be purchasing in the near future. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, be sure to leave those in the comment sections below. If you think the video deserved a thumbs up, go ahead and give it one of those. But if you think we did a terrible job at explaining things, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more interesting technology-based videos because that seems to be the in thing right now and that's what we'll continue to do. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.